What's up YouTube, Coach5515, back again with another video. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. If you are a first time watcher of my videos, my name is Lenny. I'm a coach here in Chinle, Arizona. I also coach football and basketball. I'm an EMT also here in Chinle with Chinle Navajo Nation EMS. Um, of course, uh, coach is because I'm a coach. 5515 is because that's my call number here at work. So thank you for watching. Um, two videos combined into one about a couple of coworkers who told me their stories. Um, one coworker is going to tell me, or actually he sent me a video of his experience, which happened like a couple of days ago. So thank you for watching, and if you feel free, go ahead and subscribe. Hey, what's up YouTube? Coach5515 back again with another video. So this time I'm going to tell you a story about one of my coworkers. Um, was working a night shift this was recently um, as far back as I think the summertime um, he was asleep um, we work we work uh, long shifts at night 12-hour shifts um, I guess early in the morning he wanted to take a nap um, for working with EMS were required not required but we could take naps um, just to you know be safe uh, not be really tired when we go on these uh, long transports um, when we have patients um, Some of our transports last over an hour. So just for safety reasons uh, we take naps or try to get some rest um, one time he Well, this 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 uh, particular shift he decided to uh, take a nap in the back of the ambulance uh, the ambulance I'm going to show you here in a bit has a bench seating so it, and he, and he's not too tall <laughs> so he could fit on the bench pretty good um, so early in the morning he took a nap he said uh, he didn't he didn't really sleep long uh, took a nap in the ambulance this is a brand new ambulance by the way the, this is the one he was sleeping in or actually it was a different ambulance um, took a nap uh, woke up at about about seven o'clock. Uh, we get off shift at at eight o'clock. So we when we're getting off, we have to clean our office. Got to clean the ambulance. Uh, we just got to make sure it, it, the 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 places are clean for our our um, coworkers who are coming in in the morning. So this time. Woke up at seven o'clock. Uh, rolled out, uh, rolled off the uh, the bench. Decided to go back in and start cleaning. Um, got all his cleaning done. Um, another coworker showed up at about seven thirty. Is what she said. Woke up at seven thirty. Uh, when we come in the shift, we we check off the ambulance, uh, make sure all our equipments and in order make sure we have all our our gear ready to go uh, so she was checking out the ambulance so so she she um, came outside checked outside the ambulance uh, the lights outside compartment um, checked out the the front of the cab make sure all the lights were going um, just our normal routine she came to the back of the ambulance. She was checking it off. At about that time, it was about eight o'clock. It was time for a shift change. So, so he was giving his report. Well, actually, the day, the night shift was giving the report. Um, she came back in and and um, listened to the report. Got all the report done, and the 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 coworker asked him. She was, "Dang, Aaron." What you do on the on the on the gurney last night? 
And he looked at her all puzzled and he goes, what are you talking about? And um, she goes, come out, let me show you. So they both walked out, opened the back of the ambulance. Um, we have a cover on our on our gurney. Um, it's a it's a, like a sheet. Um, she she opened up the the ambulance and you know the the uh, the cover the bed cover was all ripped up to shreds like like somebody took their claws and like not not somebody's claws but uh, well could have been. Claws came out. It looked like claw marks on on the um, on the bed sheet. It was all ripped up. She said at the end of the bed, and and he he was puzzled. He goes, "I didn't do that," and 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 of course he they had calls and 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 throughout the night. So so uh, he's the one that changed it out, make sure that it was clean back here, and um, I guess he's all, "I didn't do that." And she goes, well, "What's up? Who did it then?" And he was puzzled. And um, and there's there's times in the ambulance, and in, in, you know, that I've heard stories, and you know I've witnessed things when I took naps in some of the older older ambulances that we would hear stuff and like um, you know this stuff fall off the shelves um, inside here, and you know some some of the equipment they'll they'll be laying on 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 a different spot than where we put it. So, so this time and he, he was puzzled and he was, dang, I don't know. And he was freaking out. So, so like, um, the girls are like, well, what's up with that? And she goes, I don't know. And he goes, I don't know. And he was puzzled. They're both puzzled. So, um, I guess one of the other coworkers just told him that, you know, could have been with the older EMTs could have told him, you know, it, it's probably a ghost or someone spirit that was in here and. You know, you didn't know you were laying with them. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it for this story. Um, I'm gonna tell you another one. Well, actually, let me let me show you show you um, where where you were sleeping. So, so that is where he was sleeping. This one here. This is the bed right here. This is the section he was sleeping on. This this here. This here um, is a bed sheet. These things are pretty tough. It's hard to um, to um, rip them. We carry our, our heavy patients and we move them from this bed to to another bed in like in, in the ER. So these these are tough to rip. Um, so imagine having claw marks all over at the end right here. So this is where it happened. It's not in this ambulance. This is a brand new ambulance. And um, you know. See, like, like the, like the, the, the door there. That that was closed. We just got back from a call, huh? I don't know how that opened because I cleaned that, and, be, you know, stuff like that happens. But um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna tell you another story here in a bit. So that's for this story. So this incident that was recorded by a coworker at his home. Uh, happened, I say, like a couple of days ago. Right now it's Wednesday, early in the morning, like almost three o'clock. So this probably happened like Sunday night. Um, he sent me a video of what happened. Um, this particular coworker lives in a housing area here in Chinle. Um Two-story housing. Um, a lot of people live in the in the area. Um, he has neighbors just like right next door, which 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 uh, is like a duplex. Um, they have those type of housings here in Chinle. So he said at about five o'clock in the morning, he was awakened by his dog. Um, dog, he said before, you know, he has problems with his neighbor, and the, the dog is always barking at anything and everything in the middle of the night. So he says. The dog was barking at about five o'clock in the morning. He said uh, he was annoyed with the dog, woke him up. Um, and he said he was trying to get back to sleep and all of a sudden he heard something on top of his roof. Um, he said, whatever it was, you know, it sounded like 
the dog was barking at it and whatever was on his roof was making all these noises you know you, like you can hear when people are on top of your house um, the housing here they have shingles on top of their roofs so every time whatever it was was on top of his roof it, it, it would make a noise and it, you could hear like some thumping noise dog was going crazy um, he said he didn't know what it was he hurried up and grabbed his phone and started recording so right now I'm going to play the part he recorded and you know make your own judgment you know say what you will uh, he, like his bedroom we've gone to these houses before his bedroom is is on the second floor um, you know no attic is on top of wherever he's at it's just his bedroom his roof and that's it so uh, check it out All right, guys, there it is. You know, whatever he recorded was on top of his roof. You could hear it. What do you guys think? You know, what do you guys think it was? He said the only access up there was someone to jump on a ladder or, you know, to, to, to go up through another area inside his house. You know, there's no attic up there. There's just straight his bedroom, his roof, that's it. He didn't have a ladder around. Neighbors didn't have a ladder. Dog was going crazy. Could hear you could, you know, you could hear people up, some something up there. Um, he said it was a skinwalker. What do you guys think? Go ahead and leave a comment if you want. Um, if you have another, if you guys have an experience like that, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, thank you for watching. You know, I still got a few stories to tell. Jesus won't stop and I got some uh, interviews lined up too for you know for jobs and careers so thank you for watching subscribe if you want have a good day have a good night thank you for watching